Hey guys, up at Saguaro Lake today, and uh, I want to show you what I'm doing today. Something a little bit different, uh, probably that guys do up here, but I'm going to use my shaky head, 3 16 ounce, and I'm using the money shot um, worm in uh, blood clot. I'm going to use two worms today. The blood clot, which is the red with the big red flake and the ribbon tail, and also I'm going to do Gary's favorite, which is a watermelon red, all right? Same type of worm, it's got the ribbon tail on the back, but what we're going to do is we're going to flip these vertical walls and uh, try to get something up against the wall. using a big caster today so let it go down make one more cast just let it go down 15 to 20 feet that's where they're going to be all right just let it go so guys just remember, you got to cast this right up against the wall because it might be 30, 40, 50 feet. But all we're doing is letting that thing go down until we hopefully hit a little rock ledge or something down there. Or the fish could be suspended and they just hit it on the way down. And that happens too. And just keep it going down. If you hit a ledge down 10 feet, you can just kind of pull it off, pull it out, and then let's let it drop again. Now it's going off another ledge. And I'll let this go down 20, 30 feet. After that, I'm not going to fish any deeper. Here's a really good thing when you guys are here mid-morning and you're going along these vertical cliffs like here, all of a sudden you get to a shade line. These really, really help a lot. You can see the shade line where it starts and goes out. So I'm just going to let that fall in the shade. You'd be surprised how many fish are in that shade line. Let me just let that go down. giant but a nice fat one. Oh man sometimes guys the, the, the benefit of this ribbon tail is that when you're reeling it in sometimes from being deep they'll hit this thing as you reel it in. I know the ones at Bartlett Lake and this one just did too. Just a nice little chunky pound and a half or go back down there baby. They go right down right away as long as they do that's perfect. So you can imagine as you're rolling it in, that thing's just going like this. And I catch a lot of fish at Bartlett like that. So now that I just caught that one, I might just try that, just throw it up and just reel it in real slow. Especially if I don't hit the bottom. All right, let's get her go down. They grabbed it right up by the wall and just swam out. That's what they do. They, they try to get away from the other bass when they hook them. So he was just caught right. Just a little guy. It's good to see little guys like this too, because you know, game and fishes. Every year we have golden algae. We had it this year in March. Every year, every time we have these, uh, they throw another hundred or two hundred thousand fish in here and just restock it just in case they didn't get a chance to, uh, you know, uh, reproduce. So that's a good thing. That could be, that could be one from last year. So I'm just gonna throw it right up next to the wall. And sometimes these fish will lay up right under the wall, right next to it. Besides, 
we're under a wall right here and it's shady and it's nice. So get busy looking up there, huh? So we're gonna just fish this out a little ways. Now here's a, a favorite area of mine right here where this big rock is. Because I know there's another big rock further out from it. Right out here, further out. And it's always good for one fish. I fish this area a lot, so we'll just let it go down. Alright. My favorite rock. Nice biggie. Ooh, that's a good look at him. Look at, got the worm in his mouth. I'm gonna have to grab him because I've only got 10 pound test on this. Ooh, look at that baby. That's a nice chunky one. Good old good blood clot. I'm telling you, I didn't even put on Gary's favorite yet because they've been hitting this. And uh, no crawdads, but wow, these things sure are eating up, aren't they? They're nice and big and fat. These are real heavy. Okay, let's let him go. Come on, baby. There you go. It's going down. I don't know if any of you guys have got these. Uh, there's a brand new tackle store out on 6170 West Chandler Boulevard called Copper State Tackle. And they've got a really good supply of this along with Phoenix Fishing. They've got 500 packs, 100 packs each of each color. So give them a try. They've been working for me, Barnett, now Squirrel. I was up to Roosevelt last week. They're named Money Shot. And this one is a surprise one, you know. So for me, the red, blood clot. So there's five colors. Give them a try. I'm telling you what, I've been using them for three months now and had to keep my mouth shut. So try them out. Thanks for watching my show.